right now I gotta install this IEC valve. All right guys, I don't know if you can see that on my flashlight. So I tried to label everything. So you see the plus constant, 12 volt right there, switch 12 volt ground. Then I have another fuse box for my accessories. Um, then I have my own relay that I put right here. Um, um, actually, I gotta put a label on that one so I know. Fuel pump relay. I tried to label everything, so this might sound crazy because some of these out off-roading expeditions, we, we drink a lot of beer, you know? And, you know, it's hard to figure this out if it wasn't labeled if you're kind of wasted or drunk or whatever, you know? So, um, yeah, that definitely makes it easier trying to label everything. So, like right now it's fresh in my head, but dude, when you, I don't look at this thing every, every six months or a year. All right. All right, guys, I had to move. Uh, I actually had both my negative pulse width modulation output three and four connected to my electric fan speeds one and two but i actually have a manual switch so let me show you this i actually pulled the wire out and i, I replaced it with my IEC. that will activate the fan i don't know if you can hear that go on but i do actually have a manual for switch the high speed and i actually i i, I like to have a control by the computer but i need uh, there's only two negative Pulse with modulation outputs on this thing, and I need one for the yeah, IIC motor, so kind of a bummer. But all right, so but I do have a manual override up here on my dash, right there. That does the exact same thing. That activates two. All right, so now I can actually have it wired up. Now I can move the IAC motor over. All right, so that's why I think it was AccuFab. I can't remember who, who made that thing, but that's the adapter that goes to the original. This is actually an LT1 IEC motor, stepper motor. But I gotta take my uh, things off here, my, take the old device off, and I'm, I'm gonna keep this here just in case if I ever have to go back, because, <laughs> you know, I know this sort of works, so it's not, you know, I can always go back and you know, revert the software back if I have to, so. All right, there they are side by side. So that's the uh, AccuFab adapter with the uh, LT1 stepper. That's the Ford. All right, that's interesting is that Holly uses GM sensors for all the rest of their stuff. But my Terminator originally it came with a, it was a Chrysler IAC motor. So I just thought that was interesting. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna get that going. Get this on the guy, I got a new casket. Yeah, the whole, this thing definitely, uh, everything there, I was reading online, this, flow is a lot more air you can see the holes look at the difference plus this thing actually would uh, I don't know if this was causing the whistle but there was a, there's a lot of whistle and the uh, I don't know if it's just the I mean I, I'd gone through and smoothed out all the connections and stuff but yeah this definitely flows a lot more air so all right all right there it is so that's that's a custom bracket I made because this, this is actually mounted the opposite of this is actually mounted like a like a uh, lighting 351. That's this is a 351 fill injection. If you don't know, watch my videos. Um, yeah, the output is going this way, or I mean the input, whereas a Mustang goes out the other way. So I'd custom made this bracket with a cable right there. So I'm gonna put some electrical tape over this just to keep this so it doesn't get corroded. And uh, if I ever have to go back, I'll have it here. So. Or I can always actually reassign these wires to do different like inputs or something or outputs. But um, all right, pulse width modulator on the negative side. All right, so I hope you can see my laptop here. I'm gonna try to do this, and so you need to do ILCIF. So I'm gonna change this thing from the stepper to the pulse width modulator. So I need to first create this, and that's gonna create like an output. Frequency is gonna be 300 hertz. There, we can see at 300 hertz. All right, so now you gotta go down to input outputs. And I need to change this from uh, pulse width modulation positive to pulse width modulation negative. And then I gotta go back to the uh, pen maps. And go to outputs. Now you see an option here for IIC, pulse width modulation. You wouldn't have that unless you change it to uh, like that wouldn't even be an option if you didn't change it to the uh, pulse width modulation first. So I'm gonna get rid of my old electric fan that I showed you earlier on output four and then copy it over and move it into here. And I'm done and that's it, that should be it. 
Oh yeah, make sure you back up your configurations first, obviously. Alright, so I need to try transferring over my learn table to my base table. Because we have to relearn this thing because it's I'm probably most likely going to adjust the base groove. But we'll see. Well, this thing is actually idling uh, pretty good. I mean, this is just the first startup. I didn't even actually mess with it yet. But look at the IA position. It's 84%. That means it's maxed out. If they give it more gas, it goes down. But There it is. I, don't know, I guess I'm still learning this. So yeah, because hey, the max position should be tw like 20%. Oh, the ramp. That's actually what I defined earlier in the software here. Uh, back to idle CF. The tw uh, 20% idle hold position. Wow, this actually was working pretty good out of the box. Well, I'll have to let it warm up. We'll see what happens. I can then one down zero. You don't ever want it at zero because you want the IAC to be always in control of the idle. Hey guys, there it is. So it's actually working and it actually, I just did my first drive and it already seemed, it did look like a learn table here, but it already seems to be a little bit smoother on the downshift. So sometimes actually I had an issue where I'd, I'd pull up to the stop sign really fast and my car would like downshift. Yeah, it's a four speed automatic and it would get all lean and then it would start hunting so it was weird so it's, it didn't do it all the time but if i came up fast it would actually start hunting and every once in a while it would stall so i didn't know if i was having a problem with iec valve or just but i've always had problems like i said earlier that I've, every car they ever had with aftermarket fuel injection the holy projection whatever you know commander um, always had issues with the uh with the iec motors i always had problems with the iec motors so but uh, hopefully I can fix it finally with this Ford IAC motor. We'll see. But cool. Pretty well. I mean, actually, it was pretty easy. I already had all the parts. So, um, all right, guys. Cool.